So now let's take a look at using the cloth modifier to create these cushions. So I'm going to go to the front view. I'm just going to hide these armrests for the moment. And I'm going to create a box that's roughly the size of our cushion. So let's call that 45 by 45 by 10. And I'm going to name this cushion one. And I'm going to add quite a few segments here, seven by seven or eight by eight is looking good. And I'm also going to add a chamfer modifier to it. And I only want these corners to be selected. So let's add an edit poly, select these four corners. Now when we go to chamfer, it's only going to be those. Let's add a turbo smooth on top of that. And then finally an edit poly. I'm going to loop that and use vert. So if you hold control, it's going to translate to the selection you click. So for example, if I've got these verts selected and I hit control polygon, it's going to select all the polys adjacent to them verts. Let's jump back to the verts and put on soft selection. And I'm just going to scale this in, but I'm going to make that Less powerful using the fall off. All right, something like that should do the job. And back in the front view, I'm just going to make a couple of copies of this model. We don't want them instance because we want them to be different when we add the cloth modifier. And this will be the smaller one. I'll just scale that down. But now let's unhide all of these. We can hide these free. And let's push this back into position. We want to drop this from a bit of a height. We also want to make sure it leans back on this armrest. If we drop it like this, there's a chance it's going to fall forward. So let's just rotate that by about 15. And that's looking pretty good. I'm just going to name this arm um, one, arm um, two, you guessed it, arm um, three, and arm um, four. So we're going to use pillow two, pillow one, arm um, one, and two. So they're the four that this cushion is going to be interacting with. So let's add a cloth modifier. And this time, let's make sure the gravity is on. So we'll put out on minus 980. And let's go to the object properties. And we can see our cushions in there. We want to make that a cloth, cotton. And let's add a pressure of five this time we can always come back and change it and now let's add some collision objects so i'm just going to select all of these arms i'm going to open these groups because you can't select a group so we've got our four arms and our three pillows selected and we'll hit add and whilst they're still selected we're going to choose collision objects for these and now we can hit simulate And we can see when that hits our collision objects, it's adding some deformation to our pillow. All 
I'm going to cancel that and see what we've got. It looks like it deflates quite a bit there. You'll see at the beginning with our pressure of five, you can see it actually inflates a bit. And then when it hits, it kind of knocks the air out of it. And also because we've got it at that angle, it begins to slide down the armrest, which might be a bit much. But saying that, I think something like that could work. You can really like spend some time experimenting. That's looking pretty good to me. So I'm going to set that as the initial state and erase the simulation. So now when we go back to zero, that's where our cushion's positioned. It's a little bit off, so I'm just going to pull that down and across. And we can always use soft selection as well, but I think that that is looking pretty good. And there's not a lot of geometry in that, and it looks quite natural. You can always add another turbo smooth on top. And there's no reason that you can't use the edit poly modifier and grab this loop, for example. And you can add a seam like we did on the pillows here, or we can use the extrude modifier. Create a bit of a seam. We actually probably want that underneath our turbo smooth. So let's put our extrude on and then we'll turbo smooth it. You can see you've added quite a nice seam on there as well. So let's do the same for the other three. So you could run them all at the same time, but then you'd have less control over which frames to set the initial state on. So I'm going to do them individually. But I will position them all now. going to scale this one down a little bit. And now when we go to rotate, say I wanted to add some rotation to this, you can see it rotates at a funny angle. If you hold Alt and right click, you can change the coordinates. So I'm going to just put it on local and you'll see that now I can rotate that locally rather than by weld. Same again with this one. Because we've got our coordinates set on local, our pivot points will be local. Right, let's put on the cloth modifier. Let's make that cotton. Pressure of, what do we have on five? And let's add our collision objects. And if this was going to interact with this cushion, we could actually add that as well. So I'll show you that when we get over to this other right hand side. And we'll make them collision objects. OK, and let's simulate that. I think that's looking fine. Let's find a nice spot for that. That looks good. So set initial state, erase the simulation, and we're going to add an edit poly to add our extrude. So let's make that 
nothing too crazy and then we'll throw a turbo smooth on top that looks pretty good I just want to make sure that's connecting okay with our sofa I think there's an offset that's causing this um, but I'm not entirely sure where that is so if anyone knows let me know and I'll update this All right, so the penultimate one, cloth, cushion, cotton, pressure of five, and let's add everything else. So I'm just using shift to select all of those. You can hold control as well. Let's open up these two free groups, select, select add all of those, they should come in, add them as collision, and let's simulate. That's enough of that. Somewhere around there looks all right. It's not really connected with that corner, but I'm not too concerned because I can push that over. But yeah, that should work. So set initial state, erase the simulation, and I can see that the pivot on this one, for some reason, is over here. So let's affect the pivot. Oh no, it's jumped back now. So if that happens, you can just hit affect pivot and it will jump back, it would seem. I just want to make sure it's kind of near that corner. And that's looking quite good. Let's push it back a little bit. If you put a wireframe on, it does make it a little bit easier to see where things line up. Yeah, that's looking cool. Let's add the edit poly. Select that loop, add the extrude, and we'll add the turbo smooth over the top. And now the final one. So we want to make sure we include cushion free in our collision objects. And I'm going to pull that out a bit because I think that's just going to hit that pillow and slide off. So let's see how this looks. I'm going to make that cotton pressure of five add objects and let's just add well we don't need those two we don't actually need pillow one and two either but it's not going to hurt let's simulate All right, let's just slide in off now. Um, so sometimes it's not going to work exactly how you want, and that's not a problem. Um, all you need to do is reset the state, and you can start again basically and change the object properties. If you do move your object, you want to reset the state, just so the simulation knows the starting state. So that pivot's gone way off again. So I'm going to put that around here and actually in the local axis, just rotate that five degrees again and let's run that simulation again. So I'm going to reset the state. No, sorry, I'm going to set initial state and I'm going to simulate.
something like that. It's all right. Um, not massively fond of of how that's sitting against there, but I think it's all right. Yeah, it needs probably more pressure, so I'm just gonna reset our state. And let's change the pressure on cushion four to like 15. And let's simulate. That's better. So let's cancel that. I think that's the spot. Just wanna... So let's set initial state, erase the simulation, and pull that just so it sits a bit nicer. I'm gonna add that edit poly, extrude the seam, and then throw the turbo smooth on. And there's all our cushions on our sofa.